Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 180. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 175 to 184. Wow, in this video, we have 21 examples of the count if function, different things you could be counting. Let's start it out simple. Let's count apples. We have a list of words here. Equals count. And, uh, count if, sorry, count if, and we're going to highlight this range of words, not including the data label. And there's some blanks there, so I went ahead and used my um, cursor. Now we need a range, and then a comma, and a criteria. Well, our criteria is right here, so I'm simply going to highlight right there. I'm actually going to copy this because we're going to use the same little bit of the formula over and over. And then hit Enter. OK, so there's five apples. One, two, three, four, five, right? Now, here's a problem uh, with count if, or uh, in general, uh, Excel doesn't see uh, caps. So here, if I wanted to count uh, apples with a little a, not a big A, it would still get five. In our next video, I'll show you um, a, uh, an array formula that will uh, deal with that. There's the answer. We're counting apples with a big A. That would just be one, two, three. But you, you should be aware that uh, it is not case sensitive. Now let's count oranges and apples. If I, um, this one's simple, you just add because it's oranges or apples. So I'm going to click on the oranges, right? So I have a one count if, and then I'm going to plus, and we'll do a second count if. Better get rid of that uh, equal sign right there. Except for this time, we'll have apples. So there it is. If you're counting um, in an or situation, one or the other, you just uh, add the count ifs. Now, let's count values equal to exactly 50. Right? So there it is. We, we can use a number instead of a word. Zero. Zero? Wait a second. Is there something wrong with my formula? Oh, no, no. Uh, that just means there aren't any. There's no 50s here. Even if we were looking at this column, let's go ahead and change the range here. Here's a great way to change the range. You could point to the, if you put it in edit mode using F2 here, F2, right? You can just point with your cursor and that move cursor there, you can click and drag the range. So now we can look through the numbers. There's actually more than numbers here. There's some true and falses and yes and no's. There's still none. Now, I want to show you greater than 75 and I want to show you three different ways. All different ways of doing the same thing. Um, I'm going to hit uh, F2 and then Control V. I'm going to move that again. Whoops. Move that again over there. Whoops. Did I get the right range? Okay, so I got the right range. Now, I went ahead and put the criteria greater than 75 in the cell. Notice how it's aligned to the left. That means Excel thinks it's text, right? So you can actually put the operator and the uh, the, the comparative operator and the number right in the cell. I'm going to hit to F2 and Control V. The next way to do it is to um, put the operator in quotes greater than an ampersand, and then click on this one right here. So that's the second way to do it. The third way to do it is put it all in the formula, including the 75. So it'd be in quotes greater than 75, end quote. Now, I never do this because, you know, that violates the spirit of Excel. And it's more efficient in the long run to build formulas based on cell reference. Now, if that number is never going to change, and I mean never, then that's this is beautiful right here. All right, hit Enter. So those are three common ways, right? We have the whole thing in a cell. We have the number that changes, but the operator that doesn't in the formula, concatenating, and then the whole thing. Now, let's do not. F2, we'll do the, our, our uh, count if there. I'm count if with that range. And I just put not in the, the, the cell. Less than, greater than 75. So that's how you do not. Now, between two values, uh, we're going to do our count if. And we'll do uh, less than 80. And this one, the construct here is please give me all the values um, that are less than 80 but greater than or equal to 50. This is like a, a, a frequency distribution. So we'll get the first count if. 
which will count all the ones less than 80, and then we'll subtract from it all the ones that are less than 50, and it will give us in between. So we'll do our count if again. My uh, formula, I have to switch up here and get that. Uh, oh, there it is. So we uh, did one count if subtracted from the other. That's how to get in between. So we're counting the values in between. This is less than 80, a greater than or equal to 50. Those are the, the end result when we hit enter. There's three of them. Now let's count words ending in uh, ES. And we'll do it two ways. And I'm going to move my, my range over here back to the words. We'll do a two rays. The criteria is in the cell. That asterisk there means as many characters as you want and an ES. So when I click there, it'll count however many there are. Eight. There's a bunch of them. All these words seem to, oh, that one doesn't end in ES. The other way to do it is in uh, the cell, right? So I'm going to move my range there. I have that. And you can just put it in quotes, right? The asterisk means as many characters as you want um, with the ES. End quote, close parentheses. And so there's the formula. Now, um, how about um, counting? So here we'll count all text items, and we'll use just an asterisk. That means as many characters as you want. And I, have, I just put it in the cell, so I'll use that one. Similarly, you could <coughs> put it in quotes. And so then we have our asterisk and quote like that. And that counts all of the words in this column here. And so there's 10 of them. Now let's do not. This is not words. And sometimes you want to count everything that's not a word. So here we'll just use that not, the less than, greater than, and then the asterisk. Or you can do it in the formula, which would be in quotes, less than, greater than, asterisk, and quote, close parentheses. Blank. How about blank? Let's do uh, forget the count if. There's a count blank formula. So equals count. And in 2007, you get this drop down. Otherwise, you have to type the whole thing out. Count blanks. I'm going to count this whole, highlight this whole range here. So right, and there's it's going to count all the blanks. How about counting numbers? So there should be four blanks, and there are. Counting numbers, we use the count function. So we'll use that whole range again, count, and it counts the actual numbers. That's, by definition, what count does. It counts numbers. And then count everything except for blanks. We use count a, and then that range. That counts everything but blanks. So when we go over and look here, there should be uh, 22. Broop, 22. Yeah, I counted 22. Now, the last little uh, thing, let's count. We have some no's and yeses here, right? And we want to count the percentage of yeses. So I'm going to say. Count if, and then in quotes, yes. You could have uh, easily just clicked right here also. So the, I'm sorry, the range comes first with, with uh, the count if. So I'm going to highlight just that range right there. And comma, and then that yes. Now, that'll give me a count, but really what I want is a percentage. So now I'm going to divide by rows. What rows is going to do is it'll count all the rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which means the blank is going to be in the denominator. So we're going to have two yeses divided by 5. right? So count if yeses divided by rows. Now, what if you didn't want uh, to do blanks? Well, let's do a slightly different formula. Equals count if. And we'll do that, this little range here, comma, yes close parentheses. And now instead of rows, we'll use count a. Uh, division, count a, uh, and then highlight that little range there. And then that is 0.5, which is, of course, correct. There's 1, 2, 3, 4 that answer. Two of them are yes. That's 50%. So there it is. There are um, 21 examples of counting. Oh, that is so much fun. All right, we'll see you next uh, magic trick.